I believe in the received text. And I don't mean the Texas Receptist. I mean the Bible that God gave me. I've received it as words from God. Now, the people who say, oh, and it's the Texas Receptist, and you got to go. When they sit there and they debate the James's Whites of this world, and they have the critical text versus the Texas Receptus. Those are your two main documents or manuscripts that people will fight over. And you have the critical text, and I like the word critical because that describes what they are. They don't believe any of them are right. They believe that they're critical of every text. And when you have the Texas Receptus people argue with the critical text, they'll finally get to a point where you can't satisfy them, and the Texas Receptus people will say, we just accept it by faith. And then they look over at a King James Bible user and say, that's a weak answer if you just say you accept it by faith. But that's the only way they can silence the critical text people. Right. So Christian, don't let someone come and make you feel bad or inferior because you say, I believe it by faith. Right. Let me ask you this. Do you believe the tomb is empty today? Would it make you any more confident if you went and saw an empty tomb? Why do you believe that? By faith. By faith, God said it, I believe it, right? I don't need to go on a plane and go there and find it. What if, let me ask you this, church. <coughs> Excuse me. What if tomorrow archaeologists discover the bones of Jesus in a grave? Would you have to verify and wait for the DNA results? Or would you just say, hey, I don't care what they say. Those aren't his bones. Amen. You know why? You've accepted that by faith. Preacher, did you hear what so-and-so said? Doesn't matter. I believe it by faith. Amen. Answer this text, huh? Doesn't matter. I don't have to answer it. I believe it by faith. Call me closed-minded. Call, call me narrow-minded. That's all right. I'm about this narrow in my mind. This is what I believe. If it's in here, I believe it. If it's not in here, I don't believe it. And don't you touch my Bible. And I'm confident. I'm, I'm comfortable in that position. I believe God blesses that condition. I believe you have a King James Bible in your hand today because the generations before you carried that same view. And now you're sloppily handing it to the next people. Well, you can change. I mean, I found a few errors, but I'm not about to make those changes. You can. What are you creating? I don't believe the King James Bible because I sat down and looked at the Texas Receptus lineage and I know the, Joseph, the, the Tyndale Bible and the Bishop's Bible and I, the Geneva Bible and I know all these. I don't care about any of that. Amen. I have perfection. Amen. Why would I want anything else? Right. And you know what you'll find? You start going into that battle and you're not going to win. There's always someone else out there with a little more knowledge who's going to put a monkey wrench into your logic and somewhere along the line you're just going to have to say, I accept this by faith. Right. 